the guns come out their music hits they're repping bc gold which i love the start of their music's like boop boop bullet club for life and then it goes into their theme excuse me so their attire's black and gold as well they're repping it to the fullest i love that and their music is awesome they look awesome they have one of the best entrances in the game and so what do the bucks do like any baby face would do, which we're going to get into that in this whole piece of shit match. The Bucks super kick them during their fucking entrance. The entrance everyone loves. Yeah, let's let these guys who get no crowd reaction because the crowd doesn't care for them. Listen to the reaction they get. And we're going to go through it as this goes on. So whatever, this match is going on. The Bucks are doing their flippy shit. There's no tags. The ref was so buried. I'm just reading through my notes. The ref was so buried during this match, counting super loud and just stopping at three every time so that the Bucks could get all their <laughs> shit in. And then he just restarts at, th- at counting at one. Why not do these moves around the parameters of tagging in and out and the five or ten count? Just do these moves around the parameters yeah. of that. Like, what the fuck? Space them out, bro. Have a tornado yeah, yeah. match if that's what it's just going to be. We don't care. We just saw it fucking guy with a chain we just saw the texas chainsaw match just do a tornado match you already don't care the fuck so cm punk chants were muted out yeah (laughs) the fans were chanting cm punk at the bucks though when they were on the outside of the ring and i feel like it was muted out so this is how the match ends the guns roll up one of the bucks and then they cheat by holding the hands right and then one of the bucks super kicks the guy one of the guns and then the buck rolls up the gun who had him rolled up and then the bucks cheat to get the pin the guns roll up young buck number one right and then the gun is holding the other gun's hand and then fucking dude the bucks reverse it and then young buck one is holding young bucks two hand and the baby faces cheat to win the match are you following this logic nope yeah me neither and i'm so, like dumb. i had a fucking brain fart there just trying to explain like what's going on here? Cause I'm, I'm just, I'm just staggered. And at this point of the show, I'm worn out and I'm just like, this is fucking yeah, redundant. This is all redundant. So BC gold run out to attack the bucks, the crowds chanting bang, bang, gang. They're more over than anyone in this match. Well, I guess the guns are bang, bang, gang. So the guns are more over than the fucking bucks right now. FTR comes out huge pops. Okay. They get big pops. They're way more over than the bucks, but they save the bucks. Who are their enemies, right? It's all respect in this match, man. We're going to get the Bucks and FTR versus BC Gold at the go-home show. We're going to get an eight-man tag. We already know. The the Bucks and FTR are going to team up to fight all of BC Gold leading up. And I wrote, yay, sarcastically. So FTR chants as the throughout. Loud FTR chants as the show goes off the air. They're more over than the Bucks. The Bucks music plays. After the face off, even though they just got their asses beat and FTR is way more over. But FTR is going to lay down for the Bucks in the trilogy of the best tag team. Who's the best tag team of all time trilogy? FTR is going to lay down at Wembley and it fucking disgusts me, even though they're having back to back years of some of the best tag team wrestling any team in pro wrestling has ever had in the history of the sport. And the Bucks never put the title on them when they should have. And the FTR still took it on the chin and they're still having another year. And the Bucks have been in a trios for the last year for fuck's sakes. They haven't even been in a tag team. So fuck who's the best fucking tag team and fuck you hairline and your fucking oh, anti FTR narrative that I know you're going to spew because we need you in this fight hairline. We need you in this fight because FTR have had two stellar years and they're about to lose the best tag team ever shit to two guys who've been in a tri- in a trios the last year and are eight times less over than these guys for fuck's sakes. And you're going to support it with this anti FTR fucking hate you're about to spew. And yeah, I just feel so bad for FTR. And this was the worst dynamite in the history of dynamites, including the pandemic era. Go ahead. So I skipped this match. Okay. There you go. Um, and then <sighs> I got to, I went to the bullet club attacking them. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So I started watching it again. Cause the match was over. Um, and then the revival came out. Um, and I'm not going to watch these guys opponents come save them. That's just the stupidest shit ever. And you just explained it so that they can do this little tag match, and that's even stupider. So as soon as the Revival's music uh, hit, I turned it off. 
You know what I'm saying? I was done. Okay. Hey, well, yeah. That's basically, it. the the FTR super over. Really though, hairline, you're only you're you're making shit worse. We need you on the and our listeners what? agree. Our listeners love FTR, man. And I don't. And, I I know you don't care. I know you don't base your, but dude, we need you in this side of the battle. You have to agree. Like, should FDR be laying down for the Bucks, bro? Nope. Usos. Nah, nah. They're not even a team, bro. They're not even a team right now. Listen, we can't. It it, it does matter, bro. What you're doing is you're doing this Mark narrative that the Young Bucks are doing. You can't be the best tag team in the world if you spent the last year being in a trios. You can't be the best tag team in the world, Usos, if you spent the last since WrestleMania fucking losing tag matches. And that doesn't mean they aren't one of the goats of all time. Usos are probably like number two almost of now, all time. You now who's, or one or two. Now who's writing and you're writing a narrative. Yourself. No, I'm not. Listen, hairline, hairline, hairline. You're not? We need you on this side because we have shit not, on not. FTR. When you shit on FTR, it only empowers these motherfuckers to get away with this nonsense that the Bucks are going to dress. They're going to dress like the British Bulldogs, bro. I'm dead serious about this. <laughs> and they're going to be and 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 FTR is going to be dressed like the hearts and they're going to beat FTR in Wembley so they act and like have I'm their moment. It. And they're the bosses of the company. That. They're the bosses of the company, and they've been in a trio, <laughs> and they've been make believing that they didn't get smacked by Punk, and they're gonna do this match a year late, and they're not gonna yeah, do man. it the proper way, like they should have given FTR the belts. They went and played Gaga, triples trios champions, and then now they're about to lay down after we just saw Dave Meltzer admit that FTR had the fucking best tag match of all time on American television with bullet club gold and that they came off of that year with the Briscoes and all that shit they did and the bucks and they played the bucks music as FTR was getting chanted to go off the air because AEW cannot admit when they're wrong. They don't know what they're doing. And these fucker just got NBA level contracts and FTR is going to lay down for them. Lord have mercy. Send the asteroid or send me to heaven, daddy. 